What's up guys, I hope you all you're doing well in this corona crisis. Today we will have a login screen and a flutter using the block button. Follow along and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe will be appreciated. We will start first by creating flutter app using the flutter startup. I will set the debugging using the iOS simulator. Then I will remove all the inside the app and change it to the app. And I will make a new widget called an app. I'm using a snipped shortcut to make a stateless widget and then make sure this app is already imported in the, my main dart and change the scaffold to material I will put it in the title you can put anything you want and then use uh, home as a login screen so normally you will use home as, as home login screen but I will remove it and use the initial route and use the dynamic uh, generated routes so in generate routes return a route and take the route settings as the argument and then we, we can check if the route setting with the name is equal to our route which is the default route and then we will return ma material page route material page route takes the builder and with the context we don't need the context for now so that I'll put this uh, underscore in it and then Normally we put a home screen for this one, but I will remove it and then put the as a login as main home screen. We will also define another route for forget password and for the default uh, route, it will be our home screen. So let's go and create our screens now. So I will put the login screen inside my screens directory and use a stateless uh, widget for this one. I will do the same also for home and the forget password. We will go first by a login screen. Inside the login screen, we will start by creating our body and put the center widget. And center is just to center the element. And for the container, is just to put the margin on it. And we will use a form inside it. So we start also by creating a function email field. And that's return a widget. And it will be the text field that we will create the type of email. And you also I put the hand text and the, with the emails. For on change, we will not implement it yet. I will do the same also for password field and changing just the type of password and implement it inside my children in the columns view. I will change all the, the hand text to the password and the, also the label. I will also put the obscure text and that's make sure that the uh, password will be stars like it won't be printed for on change it will be implemented later max length for the password just to show the uh, the password length make another widget for implementing the keep me logged in as a checkbox and for now this will won't be implemented for the value we'll keep it just a true we also need to put it in the side children widget. I'm just checking the value to change it to false as default. Then make another widget with the button field. This is the submit button. We will use the raised uh, button. We also implement it down. I'll make another widget for forgot password. The button takes an argument for navigator with a context. So we need to pass the context to the forgot password and we will pass it here. I will pass the context in it and also I will use the same function to add the sign up function. Actually the sign up button actually. Then we'll use uh, the main axis alignment to make space between for the between the buttons. I will use sign up, change this to the sign up and this will refer to the page of sign up which is not created yet so we will create it with the sign up and then the element with sign up it will be inside our screens so i will save it and this will return scaffold and make sure that they are imported correctly and then change this one to sign up so far we have done just the view we'll start by creating our blocks so we'll start making directory with, with the block I will use the form of provider and then also the form of block dart. We will start by form block. We we'll create a class called form block. And th that's it for this class for now. 
and we will go to the form provider. So the actual the form provider is just a provider that extends inherited widgets that makes the data accessible in the child widgets. And we need to implement one method and it's called update should notify. And for this one, we were true. And that's make sure that the, all the widget will be rebuilt if there is a, a updated for the data. So any update will, in the data, this will make sure that the widget will be rebuilt. Next, we will define our form block instance. And then we will define our constructor that takes the key and also the widget as a child. And we make the super with the key and also with the child. Next, we will define also the static uh, of method that takes the built context as an argument and return return the context uh, with inherited uh, widget for, wait, this is very long. So inherited from widget of the exact type. So this is deprecated, maybe you consider using another one. And we will pass our form provider and then dot block. Now in the form block uh, class, we will go for start uh, uh, first by installing rx start and Papas make YAML and then make sure that the uh, NVS code it will be triggered automatically or maybe use flutter package get to install it and here we will use uh, if you are familiar with rx start or maybe with rx it uses the streamers so we will use behavior subject for email and password and we will use the getters for change email and password that returns the sync with add. And we also we have uh, the getters for email password and that take the transformers. Transformers is just a function that will be applied to the data before it will be added, before added to the sync. We will also use the dispose, dispose to close the stream for uh, email and password. And we will pass uh, validation so this is where we put the transformers uh, as a mixing and we will put also validate email and this is stream transform. So I'm first checking if there is an at or maybe space and that will return an error. Otherwise it will uh, take sync and added email. I will do the, also the same for password. I'm checking just for the length of the password as an eight. And now we will just make sure that the, this one is imported very well. And that's it. I think that's it for the form block. Now we will go to our app where we will, when we are going to put the provider. So we will wrap the material app with the form provider, change it to the form provider and that's it. That's uh, so our data will be accessible by any uh, child widget. So if you go to login screen, we just need to access the form block we'll make an instance the inside the build widget and then we will put form provider of context and we will pass these to all of the fields widgets like the for the input uh, text and then the password password field and then we'll check on for the button also and then we will wrap uh, for the email we will wrap it with the stream builder and that's take the form block dot email so this is what we defined in the form block. And back to the own change, we will use form block dot change email. And this is the, will be the same in the password field. So change it to the form block to password and form block dot change password. And back to the, for example, for the password, we need to use error text, I mean, for both of them, we need to use error text and this way when we will pass the snapshot that error and it will be a type of string. So the, the snapshot data or the snapshot error, it will be string. Next, we will do the same with the, our button. So we will wrap it also with the stream provider and that will return Boolean. So the stream, it will be the submit valid form that we already defined it in form class. So for any press, we will check first if the snapshot has an error, we will return null, otherwise we will submit the form block. This is just to make sure that the button it will be disabled if we 
have an error. I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons. See you next time. Peace. Thank you.